my video on YouTube saying that I love Russian people. But like I mentioned before, they're very hesitant to ask questions. You guys, boom, right off the bat, ask questions. I, I freaking love that, okay? You guys aren't shy. I, I, like, I, like, I don't like people who are like, too shy. They just get out there in the frying pan. About prejudices in regards to Ukrainians, I have no prejudices because uh, Americans don't have enough knowledge about Ukrainians to be prejudiced. <laughs> Actually, um, knowledgeable Americans, what they think of Ukrainians is, um, they think of them as, uh, you know, just regular people, uh, and just think of them as people who were once under the Soviet Union that are now uh, free to make their own decisions and to do what, you know, they feel is right for their own future. Uh, in regards to government, I don't know anything about your government. I will tell you the two things I know of Ukraine uh, recently in the news is, and I didn't read much on it, is I guess you had a politician, a female politician who was in prison and some abuse or something like that was going on. I don't know anything about the story, but a woman in prison, in the States you don't get that much, but then she's being abused. Anyone who touches a woman negatively, should be in, in, in prison for life. You never touch a woman in a negative manner. You know what I mean? And the other new story was this girl, um, and this story really inspired me. And maybe I'll still write a story about this girl um, when I have the time, but I guess there was a girl in Ukraine that was brutally gang raped and put in a dumpster and torched. When Americans heard that story, we thought, how uncivilized can, can these people be to do that to a human being? But we realized, well, it's not the whole of the society, it's just a couple of people, right? And even Americans rallied in support of that girl. Uh, Americans, it's interesting, it's interesting. In regards to Europeans, and we're not prejudiced at all. We're not. But within the country, there is some prejudice. And most of it is bigotry. Uh, like the bigotry in the form of like religious bigotry. Even though in the United States you have freedom of religion, you can be anything in the United States. You can even go to a government building, register your own religion. And as long as you have the government card, your religion's valid. You have people walking in there, uh, yes, I am religious, I, 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 I am religious, and I pray to rabbits and trees. Okay, there's your religion. Well, all right, great, now I can have, uh, you know, non-tax government, blah, 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 benefits. Um, but there are some prejudices in the United States, and America's not perfect. Um, you know, a lot of uh, prejudice against blacks and Latinos, things like that. Um, but nothing on, uh, in regards to Europeans uh, or Ukrainians. We're very positive. Um, in fact, if you ever go to the United States, I know that one young lady went to Los Angeles, I'm sure she can tell you that Americans are very eager to meet Europeans and Ukrainians. And I can guarantee you, because the dating ratio uh, in California, United States pretty much is 50-50, 50% men, 50% women. So we're all like kind of very picky on the dating scene, you know? It's also very hard now to find a date because it's 50-50 because the girls become very picky too. You just kind of clash so no one really dates anymore, <laughs> you know? But I can guarantee you, a European, Ukrainian, you go to the United States, you will have a line of guys five miles long wanting your phone number to take you out to dinner that night. Seriously. Why? I'll tell you why. <laughs> Americans just fall for accents. We just do. That's just the way it is. I mean, I, I fall for, I'm like, yeah, English accents, Russian accents, you know, 
you start talking to an American guy in Ukraine, you're like, wow. <laughs> you know what I mean? So he's no prejudice there. Um, in regards to coming here, the, re uh, the reason why I'm here is because, as I mentioned before, is the Eurocon. And uh, I had some open days, and we, we seeked out certain institutions, organizations to speak to. And we're lucky by your faculty to be able to come here. And they sit up marvelously, and they're just, they've been fantastic. So that's, that's basically how I came to be. Is that answer all your questions? And one more about the delays. Do you want to see something like this? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, yeah, well, I did see the two churches here that are just awesome <laughs> churches. We don't have churches like that in the United States. The oldest church we have is like mid-1700s by the Spanish.